Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and welcome to Tools of the Trade. This is the part of the 90-day challenge where we talk about the tools we use in running our business. And so the first tool that I want to talk about is Drip. We recently switched all of our email marketing over to Drip, and I think it's been pretty great for us. And so I want to go inside of Drip and show you exactly why we like this tool, what we enjoy about it, why we switched over from the previous provider, which was Active Campaign, and just give you some insights into the thought process behind that decision. So if you want to see the tools of our trade, how we run behind the scenes here at Jefflytics, then make sure you check out this video. So we just made the shift over to Drip for our email marketing provider, and I wanted to talk about why that happened and why we did it. Now I've tried many email marketing software suites, and I found that they all have flaws. Some of the software is just too basic, others are too advanced. And then there's Drip, which feels just right. It's like Goldilocks. So we decided to switch over to Drip in mid-2017. And we're finally, we're done with that switch. It only took us six months to get there. But really, it wasn't Drip's fault, I swear. It was just getting moved over to a new system when we had so much stuff in place. And I'll show you what our old system looked like as well, and you can see why it took so long. Now, here are seven things that we like about Drip. And not only that, but I want to share three things that I think are sort of annoying about it and maybe things that they could eventually improve. Okay, so here we are in Drip. The first thing I wanted to show you is that I really like the interface. It's clean, it's inviting, it has everything organized in here, and it just, just looks pretty. And it shares a lot of, you know, collects data, it gives you all kinds of really cool stuff. Just a nice interface. It makes me want to be in here. Compared to other email marketing tools, the interface is sort of ugly and not very inviting at all. So number one, it's inviting. Number two, I like the interface. I think it's easier to see what you have coming up. The stats are put right in there. There's all kinds of good information available right at your fingertips that I like about Drip. And this is versus our previous system, which is called Active Campaign, where if you look at it, it's a lot of junk in here. It's really hard. It's not very inviting. It gives you a little bit of stats, but not nearly. It doesn't give you all the stats. You have to actually click to do stuff. See, we had 298 campaigns. It's like basically you have to scroll through all the pages. You can't even go to the right page. You can't even select that. I just can't stand this interface. We outgrew it because we did too much email. We sent out 298 emails over the course of about two years. And yes, there, there's ability to do labels and stuff like that, but it just is really slow to load. Drip is much faster. Faster. As you can see here, it's just slow. So we, we couldn't use it anymore. Number three, I love the Google Analytics integration with Drip. Now, anytime that you put out a link, you can say use Google Analytics campaign variables. If you turn it off, there's nothing there. If you turn it on, it automatically adds your campaign variables for you. Now, unlike other email marketing software that mostly chooses what your source, medium, campaign, and content are going to be, this is completely variable and you can customize it right in line with Drip. Now, this is awesome because most people don't want to learn how to use UTM variables or they're not sure about it, and this just does it for you, and it does it well. And you can have a global setting where you can just choose everything's going to be from Jefflytics and from email. It saves us so much time, and, and it saves us from so many errors as well. So I love the automatic Google Analytics tracking. Number four is the conversion tracking. So it tells you how people have converted from one of your offers, one of your campaigns, how it's coming in there. It tells you things like your conversion rate, people that are coming in, and it gives you the conversion value that you're bringing in. So this is one of the best looking conversion metrics that I've seen from any email marketing suite, and it's included right inside a drip. All you need to do is set up your conversion tracking on your website. It'll feed in that information, and you can use it to create some really cool reports. Number five, I love that the template is beautiful and customizable. So this is a template for Drip. It's very simple, but it's super customizable. And when you're looking at previews, I like that the email previews show you exactly what it's going to look like to the user. So you don't have to go and send yourself too many preview emails. You can just see exactly what it looks like. And that is really a nice thing. I think that it's pretty great to be able to have that capability. And as you can see here, it just looks nice. It's clean. Uh, it did take us some time to get the templates going. That is probably a negative on Drip is that they don't want you to have custom fancy templates. Just to even get the logo image in there was a lot of work. And so I bought a template, hacked it together a little bit, and that's how we made our emails. So it's nice that you have control over the email um, and, and that you can upload any template you want, but it's sort of annoying that they don't have any pre-built templates. Number six, I absolutely love their workflows for automation. You can basically get somebody onto an entire journey for you and has analytics every step of the way. And this is really a cool visual way of sending people on a journey. So this is our free Google AdWords mini course funnel. And as you can see, it keeps on going and going and going. 
Um, it just goes on forever. Um, you maybe have been in this funnel yourself, but it's really cool how it works and it tells us how it's going along. And so basically we've built out this entire thing and we've automated a big piece of our business. And so that's really cool. And number seven, what I really love about Drip is that you can edit your source code however you want to. So you can actually put in the HTML code. Active Campaign, the system that we were just on, doesn't allow us to do this. And it was really frustrating because they had all kinds of weird HTML in there. So if you want to have really well-designed HTML, perfectly coded and everything, you can do it here within Drip. And so that's something that I thought that every email system had. Active Campaign didn't, and it really piled up over the years and really got frustrating to work with. So Drip solved our biggest frustrations with our previous system. But that doesn't mean that Drip is without flaws. So there's some flaws that come with Drip. One is that if you have, it lets you have multiple accounts under under one main account. So you can do one for each course, which is nice because we send out a lot of emails for all my different courses and everything we do. But it counts subscribers twice or three times or four times. So if somebody bought PPC course, analytics course, and agency course, and they're signed up for Jeffalytics, we get charged for them four times. And so our email list size has almost doubled as a result of that because a lot of people who are on one list end up being on other lists because we have a lot of people who really enjoy everything that we do. And so that's a pain in the butt. It's costing us a lot of money. I They're not very good at negotiating down or understanding my plight. It's like, why is that a different email address when it's all in the same master account and it's all there? Like, why should I pay twice as much when that's what's going on? So that's really frustrating. Second thing that's frustrating is the way that they handle custom fields. And basically you have to create first name and last name as a custom field. You can't just send somebody, there's no first name and last name field in this, in this tool. And that's, I don't understand it. Like why not? Like that's every email, right? Like you want to send an email to somebody like, Hey, what's your name or Hey, person's name. And this doesn't even let us do that unless you set it up as a custom field. I don't understand why it should be a custom field. Just like, okay, this is 2018. Let's, let's just get over that part. Stop drawing the line. Just give us a first and last name field and give us a set of standard fields so we can have the things that every email program should have. Every other email program has these. And yet we need to go and create these manually within drip. Now, once you've done it, it's less frustrating, I guess, but they just added this feature up here where you can add a new custom field before you couldn't even do that. So it was frustrating for a long time. It's a little bit better now, but it's still frustrating in my point of view. And finally, the third thing that I think is really frustrating is that if you want to do an import and you want to say import a CSV or a list of email addresses, they don't let you import. So if you were to basically try to import when they subscribed in the old system, that's not something you can import. You can import it as a custom field, but it's not something that's accessible for all users. If you want to import the old IP address from where they signed up before. So you can use that to do geo tracking. Doesn't let you do it. No geo stuff. Basically you can import any custom field you want, but it's not something that's deeply integrated into the system. And then, so all the system messages and like what your subscribe date was is the day that we uploaded it into drip, not when they originally subscribed to our list. And that's a pretty big discrepancy. I like showing them exactly when they joined Jeffalytics because it's been a long time and I want to show how long they've been with us. So there you have it. Those are the seven things that I like about drip like quite a bit and that have really made me shift over from our previous provider, which was active campaign. And then three things that I think they can still work on that are sort of frustrating. And I just don't understand why they're the only software that doesn't do these things. Now they are very feature rich. They implement a lot of cutting edge features that other people don't do, but then there's some things that they draw the line and say, we're not going to do this. And I just don't get it. So hopefully they make these changes. Maybe they're watching this video and we can make those improvements. So are you ready to try Drip? Go ahead and visit jefflytics.com slash drip. And then that referral link will give me credit for you signing up if you are looking to do it. Now, I'm not here primarily to convince you that you need to sign up for Drip, but it is the best email software I've used. And I've used a lot of them. I've used most of them. And this one really works well for the needs of my business. And while you're at it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash jefflytics. And... Get your daily email reminder and write-ups at jefflytics.com slash 90 days. You can go in there, enter your email address. Drip is going to start sending you emails. There's a campaign we've set up where you're going to get 90 emails in 90 days. Now, that might sound like a lot, but most of these videos are 5 minutes to 10 minutes long. And so you can be a lot smarter every day just by signing up and having us deliver insights right into your inbox. That's it for this video. See you tomorrow with another inside look in how things work at Jeffalytics. And then I'll see you next Saturday if you want to see our next tool review.